Well, it's the holiday season, and we've got a few Christmas movies to knock out this year, and the first one is Red One. This one was directed by Jake Kasdan, who brought you the most recent Jumanji reboots that you've been seeing lately, and it once again stars The Rock, just like those Jumanji movies did, along with Chris Evans and J.K. Simmons as Santa Claus. There's a lot of good people in this. Oh no, Santa Claus has been kidnapped, so it's up to his head commander, Elf, played by The Rock, to save him. Elf, in this case, being an acronym for Extremely Large and formidable, which is fitting for The Rock, and he joins forces with the world's most accomplished tracker, played by Chris Evans, to find him. Now, I don't know what it is, but critics have been slamming this movie before the wide release. And I know part of that may be on The Rock, because The Rock was sitting in the Oppenheimer theater where Chris Nolan himself would sit and watch movies, and The Rock is watching Oppenheimer, and he's like, wow, Red One with this technology could be a game changer. And I don't know if I'd go that far. This movie's stupid. <laughs> This movie was stupid. But you know what? This movie was entertaining enough that I didn't really care how dumb it was. Now, Christmas movies can be classified into a few different genres I've noticed at this point. You have this simple classic like A Christmas Story. You have a really great, poignant animated movie like The Polar Express. You have the comedy like Elf. You have the quintessential classic like It's a Wonderful Life. Well, now I think I can put guilty pleasure dumb action flick in there with Red One. And honestly, I wouldn't mind popping this movie in every year just to get a good laugh out of it. Now, all these actors do really well in this. The Rock, who's also known as the final boss to wrestling fans now, He's really charming as he usually is. Chris Evans has a really fun role in this. And I swear to God, his performance, I could hear his Boston accent try to seep through in some of his delivery. I just couldn't help but laugh at it. J.K. Simmons as Santa Claus, though, like, that is a great casting choice. And it's a really different casting choice because this Santa Claus is jacked out the gills. I don't think I've seen a Santa Claus kick this much ass since David Harbour. But the explanation as to why Santa Claus is as fit as he is in the context of Red One actually does make a lot of sense. You got Lucy Liu in this one. Nick Kroll has a fun part in this. Bonnie Hunt plays Mrs. Claus. I can't remember the last time I saw Bonnie Hunt in anything. But no, MGM and Seven Bucks Productions put together a pretty good cast here. And I could sense that people were having fun on set for this one. The Rock certainly looked like he was having a good time here. And the action sequences, I think, are good from what I can see of them. Because honestly, a big weakness of Jake Kazdan's direction is his ability to shoot great action sequences. Because there's so many quick jump cuts here. And I know it's ironic because The Rock came from a WWE background and they were known for quick jump cuts back then. And you pretty much get more of the same. And honestly, the CGI wasn't all that convincing. There's another polar bear elf who is extremely huggable. The reindeers don't look all that convincing, as cool as their antlers are lit up. And heck, even the little elves that are putting the toys and the gifts together look like Dobby from Harry Potter. Like, nothing really all that inventive in their design. Because I will say this movie does follow a very predictable Christmas movie blueprint. You kind of know exactly what's going to happen as soon as certain characters and elements are introduced. It's not to say that predictable is a bad thing, it just doesn't make a movie all that remarkable. And Red One certainly is is not one of the year's most remarkable features. It's actually kind of a laughable feature. I mean, aside from the editing choices and the pacing, oh my gosh. It, I, honestly, guys, it felt like it took at least a half an hour to 45 minutes before Dwayne Johnson and Chris Evans came in contact with one another. Like, it felt like an eternity. And then there were a few sequences involving the character of Krampus that I feel like ground the movie to a halt. Like, I'm watching this sequence go on and I'm like, okay, Where's the meat on this bone? Why is the sequence here? And granted, to the movie's credit, they do explain why this sequence is here. And they eventually link it back to the main objective of our hero, which is to rescue Santa Claus. But I mean, honestly, come on. It, with a movie involving the final boss, The Rock, Captain America, Chris Evans, J.K. Simmons as a beefy Santa Claus... This movie could have been a lot worse. And I feel like to those people who are slamming this movie and saying this is one of the worst movies of the year... I strongly disagree with you. Because yes, even though the movie is dumb and the plot line is pretty basic for a Christmas movie and it's kind of what you would expect, like, there's still some fun to be had. I was having fun. Lindsay was having fun watching it with me tonight. My theater was laughing at a lot of the dialogue in this. So this movie obviously won't be for everybody. You want to turn your brain off movie for the holiday season, Red One is probably the one you're going to want to check out. But I honestly feel like it's pretty easy to pinpoint a lot of worse movies than Red One. 
And I feel like those people who are slamming this movie and they're just thinking it's one of the worst movies of the year, I think that may be a little too harsh on it. I at least think it's worth a watch, especially over the holiday season, especially to get you into the spirit just before Thanksgiving. Heck, maybe you watch this after Thanksgiving once you start putting your Christmas tree up. Grab some friends, shove some popcorn in your face, and just watch some stupidity unfold. I'm gonna give Red One a C plus. I mean, I think the performances are good. It's a lot of fun. I wouldn't mind watching this movie again. I may be the only one. But joking aside, let me know what you think of Red One down in the comment section below. And I like, I know, I know this movie's dumb. But if you think it's one of the worst movies of the year, again, I strongly disagree with you. But let me know down in the comments because there are no shortage of fun topics to discuss here in terms of cinema, in terms of all things entertainment. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Tap that thumbs up as well. Y'all are the best. Stay tuned for more videos very soon. And with all that being said, back talk commence. Yeah.